morning everyone Janie here welcome back to my garden it is early early morning I am getting out here to beat the heat now I know a lot of you in the south have been dealing with insane hot temperatures and I'm so hot. I'm so sorry I hope you all are staying safe we have been relatively mild for June. We've kind of been in the 80s and 90s, which is absolutely crazy. However, starting today, I think, we have an excessive heat warning until next week, next Monday. So I will be out here in the early morning. You all know how much I love coming out here in the early morning. And my goal for today is to do some cleanup. So I'm just, I think I'm just gonna get started in my oak tree garden bed and work my way around the garden, like work my way in a kind of like an organized fashion. That's what I like to do when I clean my house. I like to, I, somewhere I read that when you clean a room, you start in one corner and you work in a circle until you finish the other corner. So that's kind of the technique that I'm going to use for garden cleanup. And I, you know, I'm gonna try and get as much done as I can uh, this morning, but you know, I might come out sub subsequent days to get more things done. So let me show you what I have for today. It's not that much. Here's my garden wagon. I have been using this thing non-stop. It's funny because I purchased this and I used it a little bit when I first bought it, but now, especially this season, I, bas I, I basically use it every single day. It's great. So I have my big pop-up bag. Um, I really like this pop-up bag, but this is the, I think it's the 30 gallon one. And I actually prefer the 10 gallon one. And I've yet to go and replace my 10 gallon one. I still have it, but it is just, it's just a mess. So that's something I need to get pretty soon and then I have my kneeling pad I have um, uh, this for filming so ignore that uh, and then I have I do want to train my plumbago over in my oak tree garden bed so I have a little bit of twine here pruners snips and then my weeder because my weeds are out of control. I even came out here and I started pulling them, kind of like that. They're kind of all the way down all over the place. They're in the street and I absolutely hate them being in the street like that. Look at this. So I just think it looks kind of messy. Like you can see kind of over there. I just think it looks kind of messy when I have weeds everywhere. So I don't try and be perfect with the ones on the street, but when I'm doing garden cleanup like this, I like to kind of go around and, and do a little bit. I just noticed my limelight hydrangea is blooming. Oh, this is so exciting. Almost blooming, almost blooming. <laughs> I just love it. Oh, I love it. So pretty. Um, okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna start over here in the oak tree garden bed. Let me just show you all while I'm over here. So over here, oak tree garden bed you can see back here I have my naked lady amaryllis foliage obviously <laughs> it's done it should start sending up the bloom stalks pretty soon naked lady amaryllis is awesome it's such an interesting plant it will send up all the foliage and then after the foliage is done it will send up the bloom stalks with with no leaves or anything like that it's really really interesting I'm um disappointed in myself because I used to have them all over this bed and I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what the bulbs or tubers were, so I pulled a lot of them out. So I was really bummed about that. that I didn't kind of look it up first, um, but at least I have these two big ones right here. So I'll be cleaning up this foliage and then you can see my plumbago right here. It needs to be trained up the wire. Um, I have a little bit of blooms over here, not a ton. And then you can see my honeysuckle from my backyard is starting to come over the fence. Um, so I am gonna have to address that soon. I probably won't address it today. I'll probably do like a whole backyard thing because I know I'm probably gonna have to do it on the rest of my honeysuckle as well. So that will be part of my garden cleanup. And then the oak tree garden bed is looking pretty good. I planted this bed out as a kind of more of a natural native bed um, that I didn't have to pay attention to a lot and it's working really, really well. Most of these plants, I just, I kind of just don't have to worry about, which is fantastic. My hookra right here, this is, um, is it limoncello or something like that? Um, it's still scorching. The leaves are still scorching. I, I think I'm just gonna leave it though because it's obviously happy. It's obviously doubling in size, but you can see the leaves still scorch 
a little bit. Um, so I don't, you know, I have been coming out here and pulling the scorch leaves, but I think, I think I'm just going to leave it. So yeah, so everything here looks good. I'm going to get started with this and then I will come back and show you guys what I'm going to do with the cottage garden bed. Okay, that was easy enough. You can see I'm not being very particular about getting all the oak tree leaves up because there's no point. As soon as I clean them all up, this tree will drop even more leaves. So no point to be a perfectionist over here. I have realized that over the years. Next, I'm gonna come over here and start working on my plumbago. I have these wires that I put on the fence, almost like espalier wires, but I am not planning to keep them in the diamonds. I'm just trying to keep the plumbago up close against the fence so that it just looks a little bit neater. Sometimes I feel like plumbago can look really, really messy. So this is my way of trying to counteract the messiness of this plant. I'm not sure you can even tell I did anything. I'll have to see about this plumbago project. I'm not totally sure that I'm gonna keep it because it does look a little bit messy. Um, I don't know, I'll, I'm gonna give it a little bit more time just to see what I can do. But you can see here, I've added twine kind of halfway or third of the way in between, not here, I'm sorry, right here. You can see I've added twine up and down because I think that I've done these trellis diamonds a little too big. So these stems or whatever you call it, branches from the plumbago aren't tall enough to reach the top of it. So I can't really like fan it out. Um, Maybe I should put like some chicken wire on here or I don't know, I'll think about it, but you can see like, especially this one, like I didn't want to cut these off because I feel like they're almost there. They're almost where I can kind of hook them. Here's the wire right here, but they're just not quite there. And then these two are growing really well, but these three over here are kind of, kind of slow. So I think I'm just going to be patient, but I have to be honest, I don't, I don't love this right here. I don't, I, I feel like I could do better, but I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait and see. Okay, next, I need to get over here and pull these sweet peas. I should have pulled these sweet peas the other day, but I just ran out of time. And I wanted to show you all, look, they've got powdery mildew already starting. So it's time for them to come out for sure. Um, I, I, I will probably harvest some of the seeds. I was gonna say, I have so many sweet pea seeds, but I'll probably harvest some of them. These are the Elegance Mix. So it's just a really nice blend. You can see that one right there is totally covered with pow powdery mildew. So I gotta get those out. And then uh, I, I just can't decide whether I'm gonna prune back the cat mint because it still has a little bit of color. I think I'm gonna prune it. I think I'm just gonna do it. 
I'm, I'm just gonna do it. I think I'll be happier and it'll give this um, hydrangea a little bit of room. Okay, so that's what I'll do right now is I'll take out all these sweet peas and then I will sadly prune back this cat mint. Maybe, you know what, pruning it back now will probably give it another chance to to flush out again in the season, maybe two more times. So I should, I should definitely cut it back now. All right, let's get on to this. So when I had my sweet pea seeds here, or my sweet pea plants here, I came out one day when I sowed my other purple hyacinth bean over down there on that sign. I sowed a couple of the seeds down here, not having any high hopes because there wasn't very much sun with the sweet peas covering them, but look one came up. <laughs> so I'm going to try and take care of this and hopefully it will start growing up the sign. I'm going to leave this twine here. I'll have to tighten it a little bit. Just loosened up with the sweet pea, the sweet peas on it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really glad one came up. Um, I think I'm going to clean up the fairy garden here a little bit, play around with some fairy stuff. Okay, so cat mint removed, or cut back, I should say. It looks way better. It definitely needed to happen. I just hate cutting it back because I know how much the bees love it, but I know I need to cut it back because I know it needs to flush out again. So I'm glad I did it. And it also uncovered a whole bunch of plants that I forgot that I had planted there. There's some silene. Let me show you. This is silene, right? Man, now I'm questioning myself. I think it's Silene. I planted it here. My friend Kathy from Master Gardeners gave it to me. Um, I'll text her and I'll put underneath what it was. No, I can't remember. Um, and then I have some Sweet Alyssum right here, Snow Princess Sweet Alyssum, and then a Romance Pink uh, Nemesia. Obviously, both not doing well because it was completely covered by the cat mint. So maybe they'll start flushing out again now that I've cut back the cat mint. Uh, we will just have to see. There are white flies everywhere everywhere in here man okay so just finished here this all looks pretty good limelight hydrangea right there this is dianthus rose de mai i actually got these from annie's annuals like two years ago like a long time ago and they had the foliage but then they just wouldn't bloom so i thought there wasn't enough sun here for them but what do you know here they are and they're beautiful and i want some more of them so um i pulled a lot of them out and now i'm really disappointed that i pulled them out because i think they're beautiful so i think i'm gonna have to get more of those because i think they just fit perfectly in a cottage garden oh i just think it's so perfect and then i've told you all about these but these are pure white butterflies 
butterfly marguerite daisies winner i mean absolute winner this with these with the um whirlwind blue scavola look it, <laughs> it just looks so pretty i just love it no, the one that I'm not loving this year is the Lady Godiva Calendula right here. It's, it's fine, but it says that you don't have to deadhead. So I haven't been coming out here and I haven't been doing anything about it. I need to deadhead. Like this is, there's so many old blooms and it's not getting covered by the new blooms, which is what's supposed to happen. Um, might be it's not getting enough sun, so it's not blooming as vigorously as it should. But my plan for right now is just to kind of come and shear it off. I have three plants right here, so I'm just gonna kind of shear it off, shear it off, shear it off, and kind of see how it does. Um, then the other thing I want to do is I have these cashmere bouquet uh, Mexican hydrangeas. They're about to start blooming. They look really pretty, but they are spreading. You can see I have a stem here. I have a stem here that I don't want. Um, and then I have a couple stems over there. So I just have to come and kind of cut these back because I really just want like two mounds of the cashmere bouquet Mexican hydrangea. And then I have my false stem spirea back here. It's blooming. It's looking really pretty, but I do have some bloom stalks that I want to deadhead as well. Okay, let's get to this. and I think I am all done. So I finished cutting back the Lady Godiva calendula. Then I started weeding everything and I was able to get all the cracks down here all the way over to the end of the oak tree garden bed and then all the way over here to the sign where my purple hyacinth bean is growing and my rose arch is. Then when I was doing that, I noticed how many aphids were on my rose arch. I noticed it the other day. I did a little story on Instagram Instagram about it and then I was looking closer and it was like they were everywhere so what I decided to do is I decided to smash them but then at the same time get my hose out and rinse off the guts <laughs> that I was smashing the, it's almost totally clean now so you know they were on because I have all these little buds because I'm going through it's about to be its second big flush right now you can see I have a rose look at how pretty oh. so um there's a lot of new growth right now. So if it's obviously like the new growth and it must be just better, better conditions for the aphids right now. So they were all over the place. So anyway, I think my neighbors think I'm absolutely crazy because I was out here basically holding a hose, <laughs> holding, the, holding the sprinkler above. I, I'm completely soaked now, but the roses are clean. So that's good. So I'm pretty happy with what I got done. It was about two and a half hours out here this morning. Let me go through and show you all everything real quick. So starting off in the oak tree garden bed, you can see we're getting some dappled light now that the sun is actually coming up. I was able to get out all of the Naked Lady Amaryllis foliage. So those are gonna start sending their bloom stalks up pretty soon, which is exciting. I was able to clean up the plumbago a little bit and then I just came through here and just did a quick weeding. And then over here, it wasn't perfect, but I did get out a ton of the weeds and the cracks. So I just think it looks a lot cleaner when I do that. Over here in the cottage garden, sorry about the cars, um, over here in the cottage garden, I took out my sweet peas, which definitely needed taking out. This one right here, this is the orange appeal Thumbergia or black eyed Susan. I don't think this one's getting enough sun. You can see the morning sun is kind of concentrated over there. Um, so hopefully it'll start blooming soon. Maybe once we've taken out all these sweet peas, it'll get a little bit more sun. Um, but I think that this is really good. It feels empty now. Like it feels like it needs more vertical interest over here. Um, but but at least it's clean, right? So then coming over here, I was able to cut back all of this catmint. This is Junior Walker catmint. 
I love it. I really, really love it, but I obviously overplanted it. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take out maybe like this one I'll take out and maybe a couple of these that are around the, um, the limelight hydrangea, I think I'll take out. Uh, but I'm really happy that I was able to cut those back and I will wait for a second flush on those. Then I sheared back the Lady Godiva calendula right there. I'm glad I did that. That should flush out again. I will come and I will fertilize those. Um, so hopefully it'll flush out was able to cut back some of the cashmere bouquet Mexican hydrangea just to keep that a little more contained. Then more weeding, you know, kind of over here in the cracks in the sidewalks. And then over here, it's kind of a mess right now. I'm going to wait for it to dry. Then I'll come out with my blower um, and clean this off. But I'm really happy that I was able to clean off my roses. I feel like they're perfectly clean now, um, you know, and they'll be able to flush out and then maybe be strong enough to deal with the aphids. Ugh, I missed some. Okay, don't look. All clean. <laughs> so gross, so gross. And then I was able to get a couple more weeds here. So yeah, so today, uh, garden cleanup day from the oak tree garden bed all the way through to the cottage garden, which I am really happy about. And I think maybe not tomorrow because I'm going... Um, I'm going out of town. I'm doing a nursery tour, which I'm really excited about. Uh, but the next day I get out here, I will probably start addressing this whole area. It's looking good, but if you get close in, you can see there's, you know, a couple plants I just need to clean up a little bit. All right, you guys, so that's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today.